Um, well, thank you very much, everyone, for coming this evening. It's great to see so many people out and about. Um, I'd just like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, and pay my respects to elders past and present, and also acknowledge um, our Mayor of Stonington, who um, has been very active and vocal around public transport and heritage uh, since becoming elected to Mayor earlier this year. Um, so what's my connection to the local area? I've lived in and around this area for coming up to 14 years now. Um, I moved here by choice. I originally grew up in Canberra um, for my sins, um, but chose Melbourne and this part of Melbourne is home. So I've lived in Windsor, South Yarra, Elwood, St Kilda, East St Kilda. So I haven't really strayed far in the 14 years uh, I've, since I've been in Melbourne. And that's probably a great thing because I, like many of you, think that this is probably the best part of Victoria um, and definitely the best part of Melbourne. Um, I've been very interested locally in a number of issues, particularly around education and quality, and transport uh, is a big thing for me. My partner commutes daily to the city. Um, unfortunately, I work from home, but I'm a big cyclist as well. So my reflections on transport as we're going into this election. We have not seen such a large investment in public transport in the history of Victoria as we have had in the past three years, and this means a lot of things to a lot of Victorians. Before I jump down that path, let's go to the South Yarra Station and the consequences of that and why I believe it's no longer necessary to connect the South Yarra Station uh, to the Melbourne Metro Rail project. Approximately 300 houses or residences will need to be acquired as part of the connecting to the Melbourne Metro Rail uh, project around South Yarra Station. That means 300 houses of residents and friends and people who live locally will be acquired at an additional cost. Furthermore, we've actually seen no investment from the Federal Liberal Government, despite their inclinations around public transport in the Cran local area. So when it comes to the property acquisitions and the fact that South Yarra Station, after the Melbourne Metro Rail project arrives, you'll be able to touch and go or arrive and leave with a 47% capacity increase on the San Rincon line, which will benefit everyone who's travelling through Windsor and Cran and South Yarra Station, and a 17% increase on the Frankston line. So I disagree with Katie respectfully that there'll be a decrease in services at South Yarra Station with such a phenomenal increase as a result of the Melbourne Metro Rail Authority and the tunnel, the Metro Tunnel that's being built at the moment. I'd like to talk about a few topics this evening um, as to what my plans are locally and what we've delivered on locally over the past three years in government. Firstly, trains. A great many of you in this room, myself included, catch trains regularly. As mentioned, the Metro Rail project will deliver a 47% increase at Windsor, Cran, and South Yarra Station. That project, when it goes live, will ensure that across that network we'll be able to turn up and go timetable at morning peak and in the evening. We've had five new stations built under the Daniel Andrew, uh, built or under commencement under the Daniel Andrews Labor government across the Melbourne Metro project, as well as further afield. We've had 29 level crossings removed and 21 more to be removed over the next four years, including the Turak Road and Monash Freeway connection, um, which many of us have probably been caught on on a great many occasions. And it's great, great that we reflect upon the investment over the past three years in this local area and in Victoria. In fact, in the first Labor government budget, $19.6 billion was allocated to public transport projects, compared to $300 million that's B and billion and M and million under the first year of the former Liberal government. In fact, last election, uh, when, when the Liberals were in government, they promised new lines to Doncaster, Roeville, Mernda, Melbourne Airport, Avalon Airport, and yet did not deliver one metre of track or one new station. So I ask everyone in this room to consider the impact of the broken promises on public transport, which we've seen time and time again when the Liberals held the seat of Cran and when the Liberals held government in Victoria. In fact, there are 84 new trains, 87 new carriages, versus 15 new trains under the entirety of the former Liberal government. We can tell that the Liberal government hasn't and never will be serious on public transport, and we can see that they didn't deliver a single metre of track under four years of the former government. So what does trains mean locally? Increased services at Windsor and Cran Station, at Hawkesburn and Turak Station, as well as South Yarra Station. We've delivered a new entry to Cran Station. In fact, locally, we've actually delivered improvements to the station infrastructure. Again, under four years of the former Liberal government, there was not a single cent invested on upgrading any of the stations across the electric at Cran. Trains. Trams. The St Kilda Road corridor is now the highest frequency of services ever across that corridor. On top of that, 30 new trams have been ordered and are on the network in the past three years. 
How did this how many trams were ordered under the former Liberal government when they were in government for four years? Zero. Not a single new tram was ordered in over four years of government. Not only that, we've continued to expand the access of inclusive tram stops, more recently as part of the announcement at South Yarra Station at Turak Road, but continuing upgrades along St Kilda Road and across other areas in the electorate. Trams. The third thing that I would like that everybody I think here locally uses is some of the statewide improvements that have benefited Pram. We only need to turn back a few years to remember that it wasn't that long ago that we didn't actually have trams and trains on Friday and Saturday night. And the late night service was something that was delivered by the Andrews Labor government. An airport rail link with match funding now from the federal government and the state government will happen should Labor win the election in November. And even more locally, Uber and ride sharing legislation, which is a critical part of our point to point transport network, was enabled under the Andrews Labor government here in Victoria. These lead to the final, finally, my points around local improvements. Over $12 million to upgrade the South Yarra Station entry. Turak Road tram stops to be made inclusive. Pran Station, an additional entry. Domain Road, inclusive tram stops. St Kilda Road, inclusive tram stops. Even without a Labor local MP, Labor has delivered for the electorate of Pran. Imagine what could happen if we had an effective advocate within government also. So this evening, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to reflect back on the legacy of the former Labor government here, in, uh, the former Liberal government here in Victoria. When we had a local Liberal MP and a Liberal government, how little went to public transport? How, in, how much inaction there was in our local area? Not one metre of trains, not one new tram, no station upgrade to Pran or South Yarra. So it's great to critique what could or should be done, and I agree we can do more in relation to public transport. But look at the legacy of the past three years. The level crossing removals, 29 and another 21 underway. Look at the investments across the Melbourne Metro Tunnel, which we a project that you will talk about to your children and grandchildren, one that changed the dynamics of the city and provided access in a really 22nd century public transport network. And that's my priorities locally, is to continue to make sure we get those projects delivered, to continue to make sure that all Victorians get projects delivered across public transport. And that includes local projects where we've campaigned on and already secured some great things locally. So thank you for uh, listening to me this evening.